Now let's consider this next problem, which states that the crank pin circle radius of a horizontal engine is 300 mm. The mass of the reciprocating parts are 250 kg. So the uh, crank radius of engine is given here as 300 mm. So the crank radius R is given as 300 mm. So definitely in meters it is 0 0.3 meters. The mass of the reciprocating components say M subscript R 250 kg. When the crank is has traveled 60 degree from IDC, again the theta is 60 degree directly. The difference between the driving and the back pressures are 350 mm square. Now, let this is our engine. Again, this is a horizontal engine. We'll take this with me. Mark. Take here. Uh, this is our piston. Our piston. So at the front and side, the pressure is a P1 and the back pressure, rear and side pressure is P2. So difference between these two pressures, P1 minus P2, is directly given as 0 0.35 Newton per mm square. The connecting rod length between the centers, the length of the connecting rod PC between the gusset pin center and the crank pin center is uh, 1.2 meters. The cylinder bore, the diameter of bore is 0 0.5 meters. So it is basically 500 RPM or 500 mm. If the engine runs at 250 RPM, so N equals to 250 RPM, Definitely, you can directly calculate omega by 2 pi n by 60, which is equal to after calculations is 26.2 radians per second. Now, we know all the data, we extracted all the data from the problem. The effect of the piston rod diameter is negligible. So, if there is a piston rod placed here, so the area of cross section at the rear side, I will draw the piston here. The, uh, the area of cross section of the piston is as per the board of the cylinder. At this rear side, if the piston rod radius or diameter or area of cross section is A, then the effective drive, di effective area for the pressure forces at the back side of the piston is given by capital M minus small a where small a is the area of cross section of the piston rod. But here the effect of the piston rod diameter is negligible. It means that the area small a is very less as compared to capital A. So we can treat at the both sides the area of cross section is same as capital A. So the net pressure load on the piston can be determined by as a net pressure difference P1 minus P2 into the area of cross section of the piston. Otherwise, we have to calculate in this manner that P A1, A1, where A1 is the area of cross section at the front side of piston and P A2, P2 A2, where A2 is the area of cross section at the rear side of the piston and A2 is equals to capital A minus small a. But in this problem, we will neglect, we will consider A1 and A2 as the same A. Okay. And this area can be determined by the data of the board 0.35 Newton per mm square. I will substitute the value of area in mm square because mm square, mm square cancel out each other. And it is simply pi by 4, pi by 4 into 500 square. After calculating these values, you will get FL, that is net pressure load on the, uh, on the piston is equals to 6 at 
seven three zero newton. I will show you the calculations on the calculator, but that is not necessary. This is the net load on the. Now we know that the value of we know that the value of R, so we can easily determine the value uh, L by R ratio. So N equals to L divided by R, where L is 1.2 meters and R is 0.3 meters. 1.2 divided by 0.3. In most of the problems, you can see that the L by R ratio is kept as 4. So, now we can calculate the inertia forces Fi, which are equal to Mr omega square R cos of theta plus cos of 2 theta by N. After substituting the value of Mr, the mass of the reciprocating components of the piston, uh, given here, that is the uh, 250 kg, I wrote here also. 250 kg into the value of omega 26.2 square into radius that is 0.3 into cos of 60 degree plus cos of 60 into 2 that is 120 degree degree by n. And the value of n is the value of n is four. Here, yeah. after calculating the all the all the values, the inertia force we get one nine three zero six newtons. The value of inertia force is the R equation number two, the data number two, and the net load on the piston that is piston effort. Piston effort FP basically the FL minus FI. I'm taking the minus sign because the theta is from 18 minus uh, 182 0 to 180. So the it is the piston is accelerating and the value of this uh, subtraction is 49424 newton 49424 newtons okay you can write here 49.424 kilonewtons this is the piston effort which we determined here using the above calculation the data number 3 which i get from the now we will see what I have to determine. Pressure on the slide bars. So the pressure on the slide bars, first the FP is given because all the other forces are calculated in terms of FP. So now for the thrust force that consider this diagram. This diagram Fn is the basically the thrust force acting on the slide bars. These are the slide bars along with the piston is sliding or uh, the Fn given as now first pressure on slide bars is Fn equals to Fp 10 of phi Fp 10 of phi and the relation between sine phi and sine theta is sine theta by n so the theta is given simply it is sine of 60 degree by 4 so phi is equals to 
is 12.5 degree. And if I substitute this value of phi here and Fp value here, if so, I can calculate the value of Fn as uh, 10.96 96 kilonewtons 10.96 kilonewtons so you can determine the pressure on the slide bars you can determine the thrust force on the connecting rod that is fq is the force in the connecting rod this now force in connecting rod the component of fq along the length of a stroke will uh, will uh, will create the sliding force for the piston so the fp is equals to the component of fq along the length of a stroke simply fq is equals to fp by cos of phi so by dividing fp we can determine the force in the connecting dot fq as 50.62 newtons so this is the force okay we are moving towards the we are moving towards the crank and we are moving towards the crank the forces has divided in number of components as per the uh, given configuration. So simply you have to resolve the forces along that component in which you want to determine the effect. Okay, now the tangential force on the crank pin that is the crank effort basically. Now the second, uh, this is the second uh, requirement of the problem. And this is the third requirement of the problem, the tangential force on crank pin, this is denoted by Ft and this is also the component of Fq along the tangential direction of the crank pin I will take this figure with me again and I will show you here that this is the direction of FQ this is the direction of FQ along the length of connecting rod along the length of connecting rod and the connecting rod makes an angle theta plus phi with the crank radius so the component of this along the crank radius is fq uh sorry cos theta plus phi and the component of this force fq sin theta plus phi so simply it is determined as fq sin theta plus phi you can also take the relation in terms of fp by substituting the value of fq as fp divided by cos of phi simply fp into sine of theta plus phi divided by cos phi is the relation of ft in terms of fp but since we have the value of fq so we can directly calculate the value of ft using this relation after substituting the values of all the uh, theta here that is fq as 50.62 theta as 60 degree and phi as 12 point something uh, that is a 12.5 degree okay in this relation we get the value of fp as 48.28 kilo newtons so this is the third answer of this problem now we will have to determine the turning moment now the turning moment, turning moment that is the rotational effect created by this tangential force acting on the crank, turning moment 
is simply T equals to this F tangential into the crank radius. F tangential into the crank radius after multiplying this. So we get 14 point four eight four kilo newton meter. This is the fourth calculation of this problem and here problem is solved completely because all the unknown data is determined by us. In this manner we have to solve the problems based on the forces acting on the engine. Thank you. If you have any doubt or query related to this particular class or any topic of this subject, you can ask us, you can send your doubts by the, uh, by the WhatsApp or mails at the numbers given below. Thank you.